It's so <laughs> consonant laden and just like, <laughs> like, is this a Third Eye Blind? Is this Simi Charm Life by Third Eye Blind? <laughs> Every episode, we give a band the lyrics to a song they've never heard before, and they have just one hour to write and record their own original version. This is Blind Covers. Hi, welcome to another episode of Blind Covers. My guest today, The Way Way Back. Hey, gang. Hi. Hey. How's it going? What's going on? I'm doing pretty well. Nobody asks me that. How are you? <laughs> I'm fantastic. Hi. Doing great. Excited. Today's episode is brought to you by the Hashimoto Wellness Labs. And um, actually, since they're giving us some funding for the episode, we're going to be participating in sort of a behavioral study for them. If you give a good answer to a question, I'm going to give you a mini Kit Kat. Uh, but just to make things fair, uh, if I ask a good question, I would like you to give me a miniature Reese's, if you would. Deal. Those. Thank you to the Hashimoto Wellness Labs. So this is a cover show. You're a bitch and pop punk band. I need to know, what's a song you've always wanted to hear a bitch and pop punk cover of? That's a great question. Well, uh, I keep trying to get us to cover U2, but everybody in the band says no U2 and no killers, <laughs> so. Uh, uh, probably Smash Mouth. I don't know if I've heard anybody do a Smash Mouth pop punk we cover. We should do all stuff. Yes. And I'd love to hear you guys play it, but you won't be playing it today. I imagine being in a band, it's very intimate. You share a lot of secrets. What's a secret you know about one of your fellow bandmates that you're willing to share for us now? And here's the catch. Only the first person gets to share the secret. Chase likes the Spice Girls. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Speaking of pop punk covers, I was in a band in high school and we recorded a cover of Say You'll Be There by the Spice Girls. Oh, really? Uh, and I believe Caleb recorded that for us. <laughs> in a garage. Awesome. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Do you remember your first curse word? Uh, my first curse was Avada Kedavra. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Watch it. Careful, man. Don't, don't. They just killed 5,000 people. Caleb? Uh, it was bitch. Ooh. I was an innocent uh, three-year-old in my grandparents' car, and somebody pulled out in front of us, and I said, did you see that bitch? She just pulled out in front of us. <laughs> and my grandparents, like, looked back. What did he just say? In his defense, yeah. a dog in heat was trying to yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, So my first curse word was crap and said, let's get this crap out of here. And it was pretty rad. <laughs> Mitch, your feelings are valid. That was also, that was a very good question. So. Oh, uh, good thank boy. you very good much. Boy. Good boy. Oh, I'm gonna save this for later. <laughs> if you could drink a gallon of anything, what would it be? I'd have to say a gallon of sweet tea. This, hmm, the sweet tea nice. never never messes up my stomach. So hmm. I think I can handle that one. I have to say Mountain Dew. Oh. For sure. <laughs> what is it about Sorry, Mountain Dew? I don't know, man. It's like the it's like the nectar of the gods. I don't know about that stuff. Who are the gods to you? <laughs> Smash Mouth, Disney <laughs> Cheese. <laughs> Hercules with the Disney I one. <laughs> what is the coolest memory you have of being in a band? Uh, for me, and this is kind of cheesy, but it's the truth. Uh, I was listening to our EP in my car with my daughter in the back, and she started singing the chorus of our, one of our songs, and it was just really cool because like uh, the music got to her. Uh, ben, I thought that was a great answer, so I'd like to give you a Kit Kat. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Dang it! Save that for later. Save it for yeah. later. Oh. Be good. If you could go back in time once and go to any concert again, what would it be and why? I saw a really cool show a few years back at Jackpot Saloon, and it was Ace Enders of the Early November playing solo acoustic, and my favorite band of all time, Steel Train, and it was the week that their record Trampoline came out, and it was this album that just like changed my life, and there were like 35 people there, which like I know for them it'd be more fun if it was a bigger crowd, but then like selfishly for me it's like there was nobody there, and then you know like I just got to like like talk to everyone after and like uh, Jack Antonoff like one of my absolute favorite songwriters on the whole planet and like I'll never get a chance to talk to him again now because he's so crazy famous with bleachers and everything but I just got to like chill and talk and like hey what's this song about and stuff like that and uh, if I would just relive it exactly how it played out because it was that great that's not a funny answer it doesn't have to be you know what <laughs> just for that that was a Kit Kat. I'm never telling jokes again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> so, 
Are you boys ready to find out what song you're going to be covering today? Yes. yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's make it happen. If you recognize the song, you have to tell me, and I will get you a different song. I feel like this is a country song, and I don't know mm-hmm. much country at all. If I'm this not the one thing you can't stand to lose, <laughs> I'm not that arrow to your heart. That's exactly you don't that's get what I mean. Don't my kiss, and if you think you can do better than this, then I guess we'll gone. Let's not drag this on, consider me gone. Yeah. All right. Well, there's the first part of the yeah. yeah. well, so this. Me. This is perfect. Yeah. Yeah. We got this. Let's get to it. Let's go. For you. None for me. Oh, oh, thank you for sharing. Okay, so I say we start this off uh, like with like a guitar going like. And I go, uno, dos, tres, catorce. And we just like. All right. That's already okay. Oh my God. All right. So let's set up verse, pre-chorus, chorus, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, bridge, bridge we have, uh, chorus, ten. chorus. Yep. It should be pretty ABC simple for us. Okay. So, um, yeah, I like the idea of that kind of like one line pre-chorus. Yep. That's super like newfound glory. Um, okay, let's take a, let's like, I think a lot of our songs are like, when we have time, they're very hook heavy. So like, let's take a look at that chorus first, maybe, and build mm-hmm. inside out. Okay. Yeah? yeah. So like, okay, let's just like look at the meter of it. So like, uh, if I'm not the one thing you can't stand to lose, if I'm not that arrow to the heart of you, if I don't get drunk, if you don't get drunk on my kiss, if you don't think you can do better than this, then I guess we're done. Let's not drag this on. Consider me gone. Uh, so like, uh, what like, a, like a double time beat. Um, I was actually thinking maybe like a jumpy. jumpy. Do a jumpy. Yeah. Uh, it's like, uh, yeah, like if I'm, let's see, if I'm not the one, th- yeah, if I'm not the one thing you can't stand to lose. If I'm not that arrow to the heart of you, if you don't get drunk on my kiss, if you think you can do better than this. Uh, uh, let's go through the chord, chords, just me and you, and then everybody kind of listen and fall through, okay? So it's like, it, if I'm not the one thing you can stand to lose, if I'm not the arrow to the heart of you, if you might or don't think I Then then needs to go, um, let's not drag this on. Then back to the minor. Boom, consider me gone. Yeah. So, okay, sorry. Consider me gone. No, no, just like like shorter than shorter than what you're picturing. Yeah, yeah. So like, um, and then I guess we're done. Let's not drag this thing on. Consider me gone. Okay, but, Consider me, and then back to, yes, exactly. Yes, and then I kind of like that because, it, like, the lyrics are actually saying, like, let's not drag this thing on. Like, like I think it'd be cool to have, like, you think the, cor- you're like, how long is this chorus? And then it's like, oh, it is over. <laughs> like, uh, uh, is that, I think it's called parody when, like, not parody, like, Weird Al, but parody uh, when, like, a song mimics the lyrics. Okay. Um, all right, so let's figure out what this intro is going to be. In my head, I'm hearing... Kind of mathy, kind of. You're going like, 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 like Rufio game time with a little bit of Travis Barker. You like maybe kind of sticks and stones meets Rufio kind of guitar. Going to like a for like the pre-chorus. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you're not saying is coming in loud and clear. If I'm not one thing, you can't stand up. That then that's the chorus. I think when we do that last chorus and it's pretty, you should like go like full like starting line, just pretty clean guitar. Maybe like make the uh, the listener think for a second like, oh, maybe they're not going back to the big thing. Like, 
Okay. There we go. Uh, Every time I turn the conversation to something deeper, to, to something deeper than the weather, I can feel you all but shutting down when I need an explanation for the silence. You just tell me you don't want, we don't want to talk about it now. It's so consonant laden and just like, like, is this a third eye blind? Is this semi charm life by third eye blind? Pop <laughs> and about it, that's about it. You better, oh, nah. Oh, hi, I didn't see you there. Uh, we're the way, way back, and we think this song, uh, Emo pop punk songs always have really long, elaborate titles. So this one's called Dot, Dot, Dot and Roll Credits. <laughs> That's the name of the song. <laughs> so hard you uh, blew out one of our interview lights. So we have kind of a very like spooky slumber party vibe right now and I'm very into it. So what better thing to do at a slumber party than listen to some music? Are you ready to hear the original? Yeah! You... First I want to talk about what you got from the original. You were throwing around some guesses but like what content wise and style wise did you get like from the lyrics? Is the, are these lyrics? I think we all went definitely country so definitely. fast definitely. that like 
yeah, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna be like stunned if it's just a pop song or something like that. Like it could be like Celine Dion or something like that. But like, I think there's like only two kinds of songs that like talk about getting drunk, and it's country and pop punk. And like the phrase, if you don't get drunk on my kiss, is either a pop punk band or a country band. It's country. Like, what we even noticed when we were trying to like write it was like the verses are like very wordy, almost like slam poetry wordy, and it would make more sense to me if this is like a country ballad. I won't yeah. be stunned. If, like, our song's, like, I don't know, like, two and a half minutes long, I won't, I won't be shocked if this is a five-minute long country ballad. Yep. That won't shock me. I am ready But I am also so ready Spot for on. it to just be Pig Destroyer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, moody acoustic guitar. Oh, that yeah. fiddle. That, it's a country it's ballad. Country. Oh, I think this is, like, Faith Hill or something. Or Carrie Underwood? It's not Faith. It's, it's more upbeat than I expected. Is it Reba McIntyre? My it's friend, Reba McIntyre, my yeah. Friend, you covered a Reba McIntyre song. <laughs> oh, nice. Yay! Nice. Bucket you know list. That that oh, their pre chorus is a lot better than ours. Ooh, I love that bass. <laughs> She's got House of Boys. Oh! Oh, we actually close. were like weirdly close on the yeah. end of that chorus. <laughs> that is strange. <laughs> we're like not that far off. We just put everything in double time. Okay, this yeah. is the part I'm so curious to see how she sings it. Because I was like... <laughs> Super awesome. It's a good song. Yeah. Kind of the same little vibe. The bridge is very similar to... Yep. Yeah. Oh, please break off after this. Oh, that's baller. That, that pivot to that minor. Oh. Oh, oh we should add a guitar solo. We missed the solo. We missed the solo. I like our decision. I think our ending built mm -hmm. bigger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is sure. kind of a tag that kind of rambles on a bit, but it's a really solid song. The, the pre-chorus, now I feel kind of foolish. because <laughs> The pre-chorus makes a lot more sense now. I still think that the flow on those verses is weird. Oh, I, that wasn't that long. Yeah, no, yeah. no, faster than I thought. It was that like was... three and a half minutes. Oh. Three minutes and 38 seconds. We are looking at... Ben? Did you just guess? Can that? I show you something? It <laughs> is a three minute and thirty oh seconds. Oh yes! Yes! What? I, I win! <laughs> Where's the kick 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 Where's the kick kick? Kick? Season you one finale! Won. Oh, oh my, my god! god. Oh, we busted the light out! Let's do it! That's Jack from Blind Covers! Good night! Hey, thank you for watching Blind Covers, and special thanks to the Rhino in Kansas City for hosting us for these last two episodes. They were incredible, and if you live in Kansas City, you should go see shows there. Damn. Also, special thanks to all of our Patreon backers. Um, if you want to help support the show, um, even a dollar a month uh, goes a huge way. Like, you cannot imagine. Um, anyway, uh, be sure to uh, like and subscribe below, and we'll see you next month. Bye.